Hi guys, today I want to do a video on my Speedy Bandolier 30 Demi Resort. I just wanted to do a wear and tear sort of quick video uh, just to show you sort of um, how my bag has been. Um, I've had the bag nearly three years. Um, so I just wanted to show you sort of quick wear and tear, what I've noticed with the bag, what I like, what I don't particularly like about the bag and everything like that. So here is my dimmers. Right now I do have the little uh, clay on there as well. Um, I just use this as a little bag charm um, on my Speedy. Um, so I mean, in regards to the actual bag, I have noticed you do get a little bit of colour transfer onto the canvas uh, because it is such a light canvas. So if you're wearing darker trousers, darker jeans, uh, a brightly coloured top or something like that, the print sometimes can just come onto the bag. I do have a little bit of it at the moment. I don't know if you can see it right here. I have a little black line, but most of the time I just use um, like the extra sensitive baby wipes or um, something like that and just really, really gently get that out. Um, that always has worked for me. Um, now in regards sort of marking, that is the only thing at the moment. The base is still looking pretty good. Now I did actually have um, a terror moment with this bag. I took it to work and I always bring a can of Coke with me to work. So I bought my can of Coke as normal and I went to get the can of Coke out of my bag for my lunch and the can had exploded into my bag. Like it was everywhere. I had a puddle of Coke on the inside of this bag. So obviously I panicked. I managed to get it out. It hasn't necessarily stained the bag. The only thing you can see is just on the vachetta. It's just a little bit darker. So you can see up to the line here where the coke could spill all of this is from the coke from being on the interior uh, and up to here as well just where the vachetta is a little bit darker if you can really see it there um oh and i've got another mark, little mark there <laughs> but other than that i mean the inside i've got a little charlotte hilbert lipstick in there at the moment it's a little bit messy inside but you can see even though it's a really light interior the coke didn't actually spoil the interior. I did actually dry it under a hand dryer. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I panicked and I just got loads of tissue and soaked most of it up with the tissue and then held my bag under a hand dryer. And it seems to have worked, apart from that little bit on the vachetta, uh, just on this side as well. It's not even on this side, it's just on that one side. Oh, there's a little bit in the corner here. You can see it's a little bit darker here. But other than that, you know, I think, bearing in mind virtually a whole can of Coke spilled in the bag, I think it's doing pretty well. Now, in regards to the vachetta, the rest of it, it's wearing pretty well. I don't necessarily baby my bag. I do more use this one as a summer bag, so I don't really take it out in the rain. I try not to take it out in the rain, um, just because I feel the colour of it anyway is more summer related than winter because it because it is a lighter canvas. I have used it in the winter, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it's more of a summer bag. Now it does have a few little sprodges. You can see one here, one here. <laughs> um, I mean, it's bound to happen. It is quite difficult to not get any splodges on it, but see a few on the handle just here i think like i said for three years i think we are doing pretty well and then i've got a splodge here uh, and a few here too the main thing sort of i've noticed is i do have a little bit of chipping on the zip um obviously this one does come with two zips they both are just a little bit chipped um, you can definitely see sort of wear and tear on the zipper poles. Um, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I don't keep the padlock on the outside of the bag. I do have the padlock and I'll show you the padlock. Um, I don't know if this is because Coke's built on the padlock, but it has gone like a really weird colour. <laughs> it's gone, like it looks green or almost green on camera. Like, I don't know. I don't know whether the coke affected the lock in any way, but there is the lock. It's very, very strange. And um, even the keys, they have gone a little bit like green as well. So I don't, I 
if anybody has any idea, let me know. I think it might, to be honest, I think it might be because I spilled Diet Coke in the bag. Whoopsie. Um, and then in regards to the strap, I do always, when I buy a Louis Vuitton that comes with a longer strap, for both my bags, I have actually asked Louis Vuitton for a tie string bag to keep the strap in when I'm not using the strap. Um, and it's always, I just think it's such a good idea. It keeps the, the strap nice, it keeps it safe, you know, where it is, you can keep it in the bottom of the bag and it still looks good. My bag doesn't, my dust bag doesn't look so good because again, that got affected with the Diet Coke. So, it's a drawstring bag, not looking its finest. <laughs> but I do roll up the strap and keep the strap in here. Now, this is actually looking, I mean, pretty good. You can see again, you can see the splodges of the rain or any, or something like that that's on it. I mean, you can really see it there. But again, like I don't baby this bag, not massively. Obviously, I'll try not to take it out in the rain and things like that, but I won't. As you can see here, it's just slightly different colours. I won't necessarily worry too much. I have put it under my coat a few times. If I have been caught out in the rain, I live in England, it rains a lot. It's very hard to avoid the rain. So sometimes you just can't help it. But in regards to this strap, I find this strap really, really comfy because it is the fascetta. It's very, very flexible. So if you get like the Demi Rabin, it has that coated leather, which is a lot more stiff. I prefer the fascetta because it does almost like mold to your your shoulder uh and you can wear it on one shoulder you can wear it cross body which is why i went for the bandolier because i love a top handle bag but i don't like to be restricted to only being able to hold it as a top handle bag so for me a strap is a must when i am buying a bag i cannot explain i will not buy a bag that doesn't have a long strap that i can attach and detach when i want to um, now the metal on the actual strap hasn't really worn at all. Um, I mean, pretty much most of the time I do just leave the strap on the bag. Rarely ever is it actually in its dust bag. So I think it is doing pretty well and obviously you can take off this middle section of the strap and make it shorter. It does make it really, really short. Now I'm four foot 11 and even for me, being short that's too it comes up very very high so i'm not really a fan of that um the only thing i would say because the strap is quite thick um being small especially when i've got like a coat on or several layers i do find the strap does come off my shoulder quite often so it's more so when i'm not when i'm wearing more layers than if i'm just wearing like a strap top it does tend to slide off my shoulder. I do have quite narrow shoulders, so I don't know if that's why. Um, I do have a thinner strap uh, on another bag, the Terrine, and that strap is better. This one, for some reason, just tends to slide off my shoulder. Uh, so that is something to consider. Um, I mean, I think in regards to the size and everything, going back to the bag, I love the size of this bag. Um, obviously, I am a little bit smaller, so it does look a little bit big on me. But um, I like it because of the opening. You do have a massive opening here, and it does have the zipper pocket, as it is the newer version of the Speedy. Um, the Speedy 25, the opening was very, very small. I do have the insulate wallet, um, and so I found if I was if i had the speedy 25 i would have to angle it every single time to get it in and out of the opening because the opening is very very small and that would just annoy me so much so that's why i went with the 30. also when i went to store they didn't have demi resort in the 25 and i really really wanted the demi resort print so that's why i went with this one i mean i think overall it is a really really good bag it is like everybody says a black hole of a bag though if you put something loose in here good luck trying to find it that thing is gone forever like i've put so much stuff just loose in the bag you know bit of change few receipts trying to find that again not happening unless you do, unless you fully empty out your bag not happening i mean obviously it has got the d-ring on this side as well so 
if you do have like a mini pochette or something like that quick access you can attach onto there now what i what i generally do um with my clays is i put changing them so that's easy access just a few coins and things like that or um generally i just take the clay on its own and just put like bank card and id and just run around with this but i also think it looks really really cute just as a bag film now obviously when you sit the bag down the clay does sort of come up a little bit as well it will touch the surface so it does hang just a tad lower so that is an almost three year update on my speedy bandolier in the demi azor size 30. thank you for watching if you have any other questions about my bag or anything like that leave it in the comments down below and i'll reply thank you